long as we are moving forward on that. Okay, so let's see what the Pakistan and, and interpretation the final is. Point, yeah. You know, Padma Jha, my final point is that there are other issues that have been incorporated in the talks. Yes. Earlier there used to be six aspects of the composite dialogue, then it became eight. Mm. Now it is looking to be more. And Shushma Swaraj has made it known that we'll add more subjects to it and the modalities and the benchmarking and the time for it. So I think all in all, we are moving forward. Mm. I still keep my fingers crossed with cautious optimism okay. because there have been in the past something or the other that has derailed the process. For example, we saw a virtual U-turn after UFA. You said UFA has moved forward, but the fact is that from the Nawaz Sharif establishment, we saw absolute U-turn literally two days yeah, after so, the agreement. So after that, they, after that we brought that in... Unless you talk Kashmir, we are not talking about yeah, anything. So they, they, they brought that in and therefore yeah. they moved forward. Okay, so let's go across to our Pakistani guest now. Uh, Brigadier Hussain, uh, the, the big question that India is going to ask now is since these assurances have been made again and both sides are apparently looking to make positive forward progress are you going to expedite the 2611 trial are you going to are you going to are deliver you on promises of stopping cross border terror infiltration the ceasefire here? violations those are the issues that have stopped progress between the two countries every single time brigade hussein can you hear us this is a question for Dr. Farid Malik for me. You are asking me? Yes, uh, Brig uh, Dr. Farid Malik, uh, it was for Brigadier uh, Hussain. Brigadier Hussain, if you could hear us, can we count on Pakistan for the delivery of the promises? Are you asking me? Yes, yes, Brigadier Hussain, I am. Well, let me, Dr. Farid Malik. Let me start by. It's not very clear. The audio is not very clear. However, uh, I will uh, give my opinion. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> let me start by saying that uh, I can see shades of statesmanship in what has happened so far. Something that has been lacking for the last so many years. In fact, uh, this is a very welcome step. The press conference addressed by the Foreign Minister of India was a very positive press conference. Her comments mm. were, were welcomed by all and sundry in uh, Pakistan. I would like to go a step further and suggest that the problems that exist between the two countries, they can be resolved, provided the will is there. And uh, we display large-heartedness, seriousness about the issues that have bedeviled the relations between the two countries. I said I'll go a step further. I would yes. suggest that since the political element of national power is now engaged in uh, finding a solution to the problem that exist, hmm. I would go a step further by saying that let the military element of national power also interact with each other, not on the battlefield, but on the dialogue table. Okay. This is something which which has been lacking. All right, fabulous. I don't That's know the why. Next, next logical step, two, Mr. K. C. Singh, to have to really speak to the real let people me, who let hold me, the let, to who, let me, who wear the pants let in me Pakistan, finish. as it were, the military. Mr. K. C. Singh, let me finish. I said about the <coughs> two uh, the, the military elements of national power. Let the army chiefs meet also with their uh, general staff. Let the heads of intelligence agencies of the two countries also meet and talk to each other. This is going to go a long way in uh, harmonizing the efforts All right. of uh, Hussain, can the I, can, two countries can we get to arrive at a solution. Your thoughts, Mr. K.C. Singh? Is that the next logical step? The last point I... 
the last yes, point I, the last point i wish Brigitte to Hussain, make if you could just if you could just address point, each point individually mr kc <laughs> Can I make my last the point? The way I look at it, I think that. Hmm. Uh, why don't you do it the second time you intervene, Brigadier? Because I think we can all get a point of view in. You'll get another chance, I'm sure. Yes, Mr. Singh, go on. Can't okay, let can't follow yeah, you. Let me go ahead. You see, anyway, you see the way I go ahead. The way I look at it, uh, this is a rejig of what was the problem that BJP was facing. They had put red lines. They had said. Terror is going to be the main issue. Unless terror is discussed, we will not discuss anything else. However, in UFA also, UFA's statement starts by saying India is prepared to discuss all issues. Uh, yes. Second statement was about terror. But then verbally what was brought out was that no, we will only focus on terror. So they found a wire media. The wire media is, and this becomes clear from the current joint statement, that the NSAs will discuss terror. Between them, they'll only discuss terror. In a sense, the NSA's role, Indian NSA's role has been diminished because traditionally the Indian NSA has dealt with a bouquet of issues. He is senior to the Foreign Secretary. He sits in the Prime Minister's office. But in this case, he's been limited to discussing terror with Pakistan. On the Pakistani side, a senior politic political figure, Sartar Aziz, has been taken away and there's a general who will sit there. So in a mm -hmm. sense, uh, Mr. Doval will be in touch with the Pakistani army because you have General Janjua, who's just retired from Quetta. So he will be in touch with the Pakistani army. So indirectly yes. on the terror issue, we got a national security apparatus, intelligence apparatus, in touch with the Pakistani army.